He wants to be a good father. Daddy! Who is she? She's going to be your new mother. <gasps> she longs to be a mother. Oh, it's me. Why don't you? But before two identical strangers... What I see is me. I see me, too. ...can get them to live happily ever after, they have to ditch the big bad witch. <laughs> Gum in your hair? Yes. Kirstie Alley, yeah. Steve Gutenberg, the Olsen twins, Mary-Kate and Ashley. It takes two. Um, thank you so much for clicking. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you do, if you don't, you should. Hi, Luke. Hey. Um, we have whiteboards today. So that's that. So that's that. Oh. Oops. This week in our Mary Kate and Ashley marathon series, we sat down and we watched the 1995 film It Takes Two, starring um, Steve Gutenberg. Kirstie Alley, and the Olsen twins. The goo! The goo. Honestly, it was great. Like, compared to the abomination that was How the West Was Fun. This one was delightful. <laughs> this one yeah. was actually pretty good. This was a great movie. It's, um, to give a basic synopsis of the story, I mean, like, you guys are familiar with the Olsen twins, so the story was kind of like a combination of the parent trap and, like, the prince and the pauper. I liked it better than Parent Trap. Okay. Straight up. That's it was silly. funnier than Parent Trap. That's silly. Dennis Quaid versus the Goot. Uh, Dennis Christy Quaid. Christy Alley, who, right? Christy Alley? Christy Alley. Christy Alley, who killed it. Uh, versus Homegirl, may she rest in peace. Who? I can't remember her name, but she's dead. What? Yeah, she was Liam Neeson's wife. Huh? Yeah, homegirl. Right, Natasha or uh, Frick. Parent Trap's a bad movie. You heard it here. It takes two all the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really, the only thing I didn't like about this movie was the fact that they never explained, like, how these girls were separated at birth. They almost want you to believe that they're not twins. I didn't think they were twins. I thought they were like, whatever that's called. Uh, Gutenheim. You're, you're Gutenberg. You're, you're Doppelganger? Doppelganger. I you're mean, I guess, but, but they're literally like almost identical twins. Like They are identical twins. No, they're twins. fraternal. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen are identical no, twins. No, they're fraternal twins. Oh my god. Do the they reading. Look <laughs> I can't tell them apart. I know. I've seen interviews where they've explained it before. Mary Kate has like a freckle that uh, Ashley doesn't have and there are just slight differences in their face. I faces. will say by the end of this I'll be like oh that's totally Ashley. I know, you will be able to tell. Thing, yeah. Well, there's that whole thing where they always cast Mary Kate as like the tomboy and Ashley as like the girly girl. I've also heard that anytime like on uh, Full House that they the girls had to do like a serious scene, it was always performed by Ashley because she was better at doing the more dramatic scenes. She's the better actor. Well, Mary Kate's funnier. And Mary Kate played the hood rat. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. I like uh, I like Mary Kate. The hood rat was hilarious. She in was this movie. really funny. Like, uh, there are some scenes like immediately. So first of all, I wasn't sure if I had seen this movie when we first sat down and turned it on. I was a little bit like, ah, like I think I've seen this, but I just don't really know. And the minute that Mary Kate pops on the screen, it's like a scene of her playing like street baseball with her orphan friends. I was like, oh, I know this movie 100%. That's right, it's the home run for yourself. The bugs are from the shortstop. This Amanda Lemon! Why? I'm gonna kill you! Didn't I tell you not to play ball in that dress? Oh, come on, Diane, I ain't gonna hurt it. It's time for your interview, now drop the bat, let's go! <laughs> All right, you got 10 seconds. There was a lot of random baseball quotes throughout the whole thing that I yeah. felt were really oddly placed. Like, whenever they went in for a kiss, Goot and 
homegirl would go in for a kiss. They'd talk about like the World Series. They're like, hit the ball over the fence. Right. The World Series. And yeah. It was like, huh? Home run. Yeah. It was hot though, I will say. Because from the very beginning, so the movie starts with a baseball game. Yeah. And then there's a reference to how, you know, falling in love is like World Series kind of stuff. And so then that oh, just kind of like follows through. About, and okay. that's referenced like over and over. Kirstie Alley is kind of hachi machi in this movie. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. I've never found her very No. attractive. Oh, can we talk about one really weird ass thing about this movie? The butler, <laughs> Vincenzo. Oh, the butler. Yeah. That guy was a trip. Yeah. yeah. So he walks onto the scene in one of the opening shots of Alyssa Calloway, who's like the fancy schmancy girl. And he, you just assume that he's her dad, because he's like all like decked out. Like he looks this, like the CEO. He looks like he's in charge. And like, yeah, like traditionally butlers will wear like tuxedos and stuff to events, but it wasn't like that. He was wearing like a pimp suit. <laughs> yeah, straight up. He That's looked a like a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a mob butler, a mafia butler. Yeah. It, which is a lot of fun. I mean, I prefer that to like the smarmy British like butler types that are in most movies. No, it was delightful. It was oh. really delightful, but it threw me for a loop at first. I was like, no way this guy's the butler. Man, what else is there even to say about this movie? I would highly I recommend know. it. If you are like me and you saw it when you were a kid or you think that you maybe saw it when you were a kid, but you have an open mind to Olsen twin movies, I would definitely watch this one. This is still a four or a five <laughs> out of 10, but. I mean, I would give it uh, a seven. I'm gonna give it a five and I'm bumping How the West Was Fun down to a one. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, oh, How the West Was Fun never happened. That was not good. We're gonna pretend it never happened. Attention. I will say, I, I think halfway through this movie, I was starting to check out a little bit too. Yeah, but it was a it was more than a hundred minutes. You know, it was yeah. fairly long. And like I said in my previous video, this was the longest movie of all of them. Really? Mm -hmm. This I think huh. this is the last one that had like a theatrical release. I might be wrong. I'll correct myself okay. if I'm wrong. But the rest of these are just straight to DVD movies that are like in the 80 to 90 minute range. So this one is definitely a standout. Um, uh, one fun fact about this movie is um, it has an 8% on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, which I think is ridiculous. Um, the like viewer rating or whatever is like 66, which I think is- yeah, That's fair. That's like that's in between fair. what we think it is. Like that makes a lot of sense. But the um, the initial criticism of this movie was like pretty harsh. Like, that's crazy. It was not that bad. Yeah, everybody was basically like, oh, it was so predictable and blah, blah, blah. And yeah. Like, yeah, it's a kid's movie. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, and also, it, I didn't ever have the thought like, oh, this is so predictable because there were fun things thrown in. Like, there's like a food fight scene. Oh my god, yeah. You know? Um, Which you never see anymore. You never or see food fights know. anymore. For each of these movies that we are gonna watch, I wanted to assign a food item to each movie that mm -hmm. represents the movie. We had different ideas of what the food yes. item should be. I say it's a sloppy joe because there's a really iconic scene where all the little orphan kids at camp are eating sloppy joes and it's like kind of horrifying and disgusting and I love it. It makes me want to eat a sloppy mm -hmm. joe, to be honest. But Luke thinks it's macaroni and cheese. Yeah, because there, there's this scene. And I think this is kind of the part where I was checking out. I don't know what happened to start this, but a bowl of macaroni and cheese gets tossed in the air and lands right on the goot's head. <laughs> Oh. And then food fight! Yeah, yeah, and that's how the food fight starts. And then him and homegirl go into the lake and yeah. clean off, you know. Yeah, Kirstie Alley and Steve Gutenberg scene. jump into the lake and get a little close. So, um, honestly, I feel a great amount of relief after watching this movie because yeah. the first one, which we're not going to name, I'm not going to mention its name anymore, the first one uh, was so bad and left me feeling dejected. That was bad. I'm way more optimistic at this point of this experiment. Yeah. At least now we know that out of like the 12 movies that we're going to watch, one of them was pretty good, you know? <laughs> What's next week? Ooh, let me check. Ooh, next week, Billboard Dad. Billboard oh, Dad. Oh, that's another thing so far in these movies. It's always a single dad. There's like no moms. The moms have died. 
That's three in a row. Single dad. Not only single dad, but mom is dead. dead. She's passed away. That's really all we have to say. So, uh, moral of the story, if you're going to cast a butler, make him a mafia pimp. I guess, yeah. You know, eat a good sloppy joe. Kirstie Alley, this might have been her peak. So next week, come back for another installment. We're going to watch Billboard Dad. I'm getting so excited now that we're getting into these movies that Billboard I love. Billboard Dad. Uh, do, you, do you know what it's about? Yes. No, okay. Yeah, Let me try and guess here. So is like this Billboard Dad like in the advertisement <laughs> game or something? Um, Just give me short little... So, I don't think he's in the advertisement game. I mean, that might be a little tidbit that I missed out on, but that's not, like, the point. That's not what makes him a billboard dad. Is he, a, like, a model? <laughs> <Is he laughs> no. like, I'm on a billboard? No. Um, so he doesn't hustle billboards or something? No. Oh! Do they, like... Alright. <laughs> Mary Kay and Ashley... <laughs> They're like, our dad's single. <laughs> yeah. 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 And they're like, we need to rent a billboard. Yeah. There you go. All right. <laughs> He's learning. He's learning the ways of a Mary Kay Nashley film. All right. That'll be fun. It's fun. That'll it's a really fun. fun. So one. there's a lot of suitors for. We'll see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. I got it. Really excellent. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, well, we love you guys. Uh, I would do anything for you, Luke might. And um, we'll see you next week with another weird little video. Farewell. Peace.